kamewa kaanza kupiga nduru anaumwa na tumbo ni wakati ya nikao amenitoa mbio na panga nataka mm. kuniua back to my youtube channel if you are new here please hit that subscription button hit that notification bell like share and comment for the returning subscribers thank you so much for your love thank you so much for your support for the new subscribers feel much welcomed we love you all thank you guys for the support of the last video guys you are incredible you are amazing thank you for every support in the last time video we are dealing about masturbation please please if you have not checked concerning the last video please go and watch the last video again my people today we are blessed with an incredible guest he has a story i can't tell you about it but just stay tuned he is a guest who has been dealing with the drug dealing suji depression suji whatever street thing but guys i can't tell it all stay tuned help me to welcome my incredible guest john karani I'm a student uh, uh, at Taita Taveta University. Mm -hmm. I'm pursuing a Bachelor's of Science um, in uh, Education Science. Um, that is uh, Physics and uh, Chemistry mm -hmm. combination. Mm -hmm. And also I'm um, a CEO wow. of a um, company called Smart Farm. Mm -hmm. And also, I'm a chief founder of mm -hmm. another company called mm -hmm. Yeshtek Solutions Company. Wow, yes. that's amazing. <laughs> Happy to hear that. Anyway, Karan, the, the last time that you were talking with you, you gave me a story concerning your life. And most of the most of the viewers or most of the people are passing through these challenges, this depression part of it, this drug part of it. I just want you to start. Who was Karani? Like, like... How was your life in your childhood? Okay. My life uh, in childhood, um, uh, it began uh, uh, many years ago, I mm -hmm. can say. <laughs> many years ago. Yes. <clears throat> I was born in uh, Madare, mm -hmm. uh, specifically Pangani, mm -hmm. area that is where I was born. Mm -hmm. I was raised in a place called Kosovo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a place whereby you are surrounded by those uh, thugs. Mm -hmm. You are surrounded by the those people, uh, not very good people. Mm -hmm. uh, in our terms, sometimes we can call them jambazis. Oh, wow. <laughs> and um, life there was not sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, before that, uh, when my mom was pregnant mm -hmm. and... Um, at some point, mm -hmm. <laughs> she wanted to abort uh, that oh. pregnancy, and that pregnancy was me. Mm -hmm. uh, but my grandma intervened, mm -hmm. and um, she said that um, she told her that there is no need of uh, uh, get, uh, getting rid of this child mm -hmm. uh, because we don't know um, what that child carries. Mm. So I will. Uh, uh, thank God for bringing my grandma at that point mm -hmm. for my granny. She intervened, mm -hmm. and uh, if you can see me today, <laughs> <laughs> that means uh, I was saved that time. Mm -hmm. um, the reason why she wanted to get uh, rid of me it is mm -hmm. because Aqua uh, Menipat in a good way, mm -hmm. and Yalqua proud of also the man who gave up uh, pregnant when you limpia member Aku Alqua Alqua na Bibiaki Kando. So, in, in short, it got to Pango Kando, mm -hmm. Kapata member by mistake. Mm -hmm. So, talk up on Mama Kam Chukia, so Adia Kachukia, member in Yabado Ajaza. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thank God, at least, uh, social Kuapo, I can intervene, mm -hmm. as I mean, Nico. Wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. And your shoes now has intervened. Mm -hmm. And after your mom has given birth, did, did she hold the ownership of the baby or he just gave the grandma? Okay, I will say that, um, yeah, she waited until she gave birth. Mm -hmm. And uh, that time, mm -hmm. Sasa, my mom decided that she will not take me to the hospital. So, uh, when you talk about poison, BCG, all those kind of to prevent from uh, certain diseases. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as you see, so she just wanted me to 
to to die but not nile kusema ti amenyonga ama amenifanya anything mm-hmm. yeah so but um my granny she's a prayerful person mm-hmm. um wakati nilianza kugonjeka mm-hmm. because ye, mama alikuwa anaenda kibarua alikuwa anaenda kibarua huko isili mm-hmm. alikuwa anafanya kazi ya kuwa ile nye she should like call it a house girl she mm-hmm. was a house girl mm-hmm. eh hiyo ndio kazi alikuwa anafanya so akienda naachia shosho mimi ananiacha kwa shosho mm-hmm. shosho ananilea sasa hiyo hakuna maziwa ya kunyonya mm-hmm. uh, kuna maziwa yameachiwa so shosho used to buy britannia mm-hmm. hiyo biscuits za hiyo time mm-hmm. na natumia na mix na maji mm-hmm. eh, maji warm anafinya finya vizuri then nikilia ananiguzisha kwa mdomo na nyamaza for some time eh, ikakuwa hivyo ndio life la um, health yangu ika deteriorate sana na um, uh, with time ile chakula kidogo yenye napata kwa sababu nilikuwa napata na nyonya jioni wakati mama amerudi mm-hmm. eh, hiyo wakati mwingine tunakaa na shosho mm-hmm. but sasa um, after three months mama kaniachisha kunyonya mm-hmm. na um, yeah hiyo kwa hivyo eh Now where guys mm. Here comes now life ya mnaka na shoes mm. And uh ulipoona kwa shoes like mama kwa alikuwa chilia kabisa na shoes kwa how many years Ah uh, so ali niachia shoes uh, nikiwa 3 months ndio aliniacha kwa shoes mm-hmm. Na reason being is that uh, lazima angefanya kazi mm-hmm. yeye ndiye alikuwa analisha shoes na ananilisha mm-hmm. Eh yeah, so ikabidi um, <coughs> uh, ni peane sana shosho like yeye ndiye alikuwa na take care mm-hmm. uh, for some time mm-hmm. eh hiyo process ya kugonjeka nilikuja nikagonjeka nilishikwa na ugonjwa mbaya sana eh because ya ile kuto kupeleka hospitali mm-hmm. then my granny akaniombea eh na nikakuwa poa mm-hmm. na siku siku pass hapo in the process hiyo wakati watoto wengi walikuwa wanashikwa na polio mm-hmm. na mimi in the process ya kwenda kupatwa na polio mm-hmm. ah Mungu akaniokoa so i just uh, kuna something happened eh? Uh, mm-hmm. which is not easy to say mm-hmm. kwa screen It's okay. uh, but uh, niliona venye shosho alikuwa anielezea nikaona tu ni mkono wa Mungu mm. and uh, evidences pia kwa mwili wangu kiangalia mm. sina hizo ni hizo marks za <laughs> hospitali za eh sina mm-hmm. eh na nilikuwa mtu health yangu haikuwa poa mm-hmm. hata kwa ku understand vitu nilikuwa na understand vitu pole pole like we Iyuka. call them slow learners eh. mm-hmm. so nilikuwa naelewa vitu pole pole mm-hmm. after some time mama kaolewa mm-hmm. E, kaolewa na mtu mwingine huyo mtu uh, ndiye alikuwa anaitwa John Karani mm-hmm. so that man loved me very much mm-hmm. na so waka come up with the conclusion ya kunita John John Karani <laughs> e, so i don't know maybe hapo nilikuwa na first name sijui <laughs> but sasa finally nilikuja nikazaliwa nikaitwa John Karani uh-huh. after some time wakapata mtoto so who is my step brother mm-hmm. e, na um, kaendelea ku grow mm-hmm. uh, napata my brother alikuwa napata hiyo nini mnaita favor mm-hmm. eh, from kutoka kwa mam mm-hmm. mam pia akakuja akaacha ile kazi ya kwenda ku nini uh, isiliki barua mm-hmm. so mzee si akakuwa ki provide mm-hmm. eh, for some time mm-hmm. na mimi kwa sababu nilikuwa mdogo si kwa najua kama si baba yangu mm-hmm. i used to know he is my father so mlikuwa eh, mnaishi kwa nyumba moja eh, after mamako amelelewa eh, eh, tukaishi kwa nyumba moja shosho akarentiwa nyumba yake mm-hmm. still bado in um, in madhari how was the the step father treating you my step father was uh, i will say he was my best dad wow eh, because uh, i came to to know yes my dad mm-hmm. in the year 2015 What? Eh yeah, so ndio shoshwa aliamua kunielezea because nimeuliza mbona si fanani na ndugu yangu? <laughs> mbona kuna venye mm. kuna kaa kuna kitu yenye ieleweki vizuri? Mm. So ndio akaamua kunielezea. Mm. Eh na nikakuja kujua so my dad was a good dad. Mm-hmm. Eh until ali pass 2005. Mm-hmm. Eh so kutoka hapo mama karudi kwa ile kazi tena. Mm-hmm. Eh na ikuwa haikuwa jani raisi it's not easy anyway after after all these has happened you know each and every child 
is all a whole dream ya ende shule asome like a pre your primary school how was your primary school life eh sasa mimi after nilifikisha 5 years ndio nili Uh, unajua wazazi wa kitambo walikuwa naogopa sana mtoto kwenda shule <laughs> mapema lazima ungefikisha hizo 5 years eh, so lazima ningefikisha 5 years so kufika 5 years eh nikaona wazazi hawataki kunipeleka shule bado wanaogopa wanaona mimi ni mdogo so kuna marafiki wangu kuna mmoja nakumbuka alikuwa aitwa Shiru mm-hmm. eh Shiru alikuwa atoka shule mm-hmm. anakuja ananionyesha amechora vitu ameandika so zilikuwa zanifanya nasikia kutaka kusoma mm-hmm. so in the process <laughs> Uh, Shiro akaenda akanionyesha penye anasomea. Mm. Mimi mbio kama katoto nikaenda kwa my dad na mom nikamwambia mm. hey mimi mm. nataka kwenda kusoma. Akaniambia unataka kwenda kusomea wapi? Nikamwambia niliona Shiro akisomea mahali. Mm. So tuka akaniambia ni sawa. Mm. Let's go tuone ni wapi unataka tusome. Au mm-hmm. unataka kusomea. Mm. Nikaenda nikaonyesha kulikuwa just a structure mm. ni kama ilikuwa kanisa mm-hmm. but kulikuwa na watoto wanasoma nursery. Mm-hmm. Uh, na, kulikuwa na nursery pre unit mm-hmm. class 1 na pia kulikuwa na baby class. So mm-hmm. nikaenda nursery hapo mm-hmm. na masomo yangu ikaanzia hapo. Mm-hmm. Eh. Wow, now you have entered to a primary school life. Uli, mm. Ulienda primary school ulikuwa kwa shoshoso kwa ama ulikuwa kwa mom. Sasa mom na shosh mm. ni kama tu tunaishi kwa nyumba moja but mm. they can't live in the same in the same room. So uko madhare mm. nyumba nyumba ni kusurvive. Mm. Kwa hivyo nika ukiingia kwa nyumba you can see everything eh. Mm. Alafu tena nyumba ni ya mabati. And um, alafu ni mabati zimetoboka. Mm. So in a good way sasa utapata uh, so uh, mama ako kwa hii nyumba mm. then amekombolea shosho some distance mm-hmm. eh shosho ndiye alikuwa anamla that is mama alikuwa anamlisha mm-hmm. eh because pia shosho alikuwa anaweza kwenda kufanya kazi mm-hmm. but kaa kuna feve nyal alikuwa amefanya mama mm-hmm. alikuwa na take care of mimi mm-hmm. na my young but my younger brother ndiye alipata chance ya kukaa na mama mm-hmm. eh so shosho alisongeshwa tu kidogo lakini kula kukunywa Yeah. Uh, tulikuwa tunafanyia pale pamoja so kwenda kulala ndio sio alikuwa anaenda kulala kando mm-hmm. mm. and here comes the story mm. at what point did you meet yourself at the street like eh. what happened the process ili ukajipata kwa street uh, kwa street sasa kulikuwa hivi uh, me after my dad passed 2005 nikaendelea na masomo mm-hmm. 2006 2007 mm-hmm. Uh, 2007 mm-hmm. kwa kuwa na violence elections mm-hmm. uh, sisi tulikuwa affected sana. Mm-hmm. Uh, sasa mimi nilikuwa uh, before that tuka, tuliamanga tukatoka Kosovo tukaenda place nyingine inaitwa Gitadhuru. Hiyo mm-hmm. Gitadhuru ilikuwa place kumeja Luos. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yo time kulikuwa na hiyo ni vita ya Luos and Gikuyus. Eh? Mm-hmm na uh, sasa mimi I was counted as a Gikuyu. Mm-hmm. That means that um, So mkipatikana huko kwa kwa ni the land of laws mm. mnauliwa ama mna So in the process unapata vitu nyingi zilipotea mm. tukafukuzwa so nikaenda tukakuwa IDPs mm-hmm. So tulikuwa IDPs pale Madhare Madhare Depot mm-hmm. eh, if you have ever had Madhare Depot hapo ndo tulikuwa IDPs 2007 mm-hmm. eh, that is 2007 2008 mm-hmm. tukakuwa IDPs hapo uh, kwa hivyo tulikuwa tunakaa kwa matents kukula kukunywa tunapanga line eh yani like ni vetu unaona kwa movie like ni kama watu wale eh, watu wanafukuza ngo eh so you are real like dps lakini tulikuwa tunapata usaidizi from uh, uh, from USA wanakuja watuletea food mm-hmm. watu kama hizo mm-hmm. so kutoka hapo hivyo 2008 mm-hmm. uh, nimekaa hapo hivyo masaa ya asubuhi mm-hmm. nikaona rafiki yangu mwingine mm-hmm anaitwa ngugi. Mm-hmm. Eh, ngugi ni uh, alikuwa anaenda shule. Nikamuuliza saa unaenda shule aje? Mm-hmm. Na sasa kuna kaa hivi. Akaniambia mimi wanaenda shule. Wazazi wananiambia niende huko shule. Nikamuuliza unalipa school fees? Uh, school fees ni much? Akaniambia uh, ni free. What? Your time education ilikuwa free. Mm-hmm. So the only fee you are supposed to pay ni 200 shillings ya whole term. Mm-hmm. So ya alikuwa anasomea madhara primary. Mm-hmm. Eh, if you have ever say wakati ilikuwa itwa madhara old primary. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, akaniambia unaweza kuja uangalie. Mm-hmm. So the following day nikarauka mapema sikuambia mama nimeenda wapi mamangu alikuwa mkali. 
Eh yeah, so but uh, that is after some time mama alikuja akanipenda even though ah kulikuwa na period alikuwa ananichukia sana yeah. but uh, after my dad passed alikuja akaanza kunipenda nikakuwa uh, one of her favorite sons eh mm-hmm. Yeah so nikaenda hiyo madare primary siko nimevas uh, nikiwa um, uko hivyo nikitembea Mhm. Nikiangalia classes niko nayo wanafunzi ni wengi wanasoma so nikaenda nikaenda kutafuta hiyo class ya ngogi. Mhm. Uh, uko zilikuwa streams kadha. Mm-hmm. So nikaenda class inaitwa 3 uh, 3M. Mm-hmm. Eh, eh, 3M. So kwenda kwa class inaitwa 3M. Kakaa kwa class mwalimu akaingia akaambua kuna mgeni. <laughs> Eh hey, so ile ni akauliza kwa wapi mgeni unajua hiyo class ilikuwa na wanafunzi wengi mm-hmm. wengi wengi tulikuwa more than 50 mm-hmm. so akani akauliza akasema ah mgeni asimame so nikasimama sikuwa na uniform mm-hmm. nimeza hey, unaitwa nani nikamwambia mimi naitwa Karani mm-hmm. ah akaniambia unatamani kusoma nikamwambia mimi mwalimu nataka kusoma mm-hmm. uh, where are your books nikamwambia sina mm-hmm. okay sawa sawa so i'm going to give you some books mm-hmm hizo vitabu ndio utakuwa unaandikia akanipea pencil mm. alafu akaniambia wewe kesho mm. enda utakuja na ile uniform yenye ulikuwa unasoma na your previous uh, school mm-hmm. uh, akaniambia so kuja nayo kesho uanze kusoma mm-hmm. nikamwambia so staff staff ni mm-hmm. staff kuzo akaniambia yeye yeah, utafukuzwa mm-hmm. so hiyo siku tukasoma kwa uh, tukasoma Uh, nikaonekana niko bright because nilikuwa na matics kadhaa so kwenda nyumbani masa after lunch after lunch mm-hmm. Uh, after lunch nikafika nyumbani mm. uh, that is kule tu kwa IDP camp mm-hmm. nikapata mama ameningoja na kiboko eh hey, uh, utaniambia ulienda wapi utaniambia ulikuwa wapi <laughs> so kufika hapo tu nilishika tu nilishika tu books exercise books nikapea nikapea mama nikamwambia bwa angalia mm. kuangalia akaona hizo ticks mm. aka ni kama tu kupigwa na ile furaha tu mm-hmm. she, was, she felt good mm-hmm. akaniangalia tu akanishia kitu akanifanya fanya hivi mm-hmm. niambia ume, nani alikupeleka shule nakwambia mimi nilisikia kwenda shule mm-hmm. ah akaniambia ni sawa sasa kesho mm-hmm. utaenda shule nikamwambia mwalimu aliniambia niende kesho shule mm-hmm. ah akasema ni sawa uh, in the morning the following day nikatayarishwa vizuri na mamu anitengeneza kola vizuri nikapewa nika kabag <laughs> na nikaenda shule uh-huh. na my primary school ikaanza uh-huh. that is ikaendelea kutoka class 3 hadi uh-huh. class 6 uh-huh. ulikuwa umeachia yeah. before class 3 eh yeah, nilikuwa nimeachia class 3 uh-huh. so nikakuja nika pick pick up uh, ni after sasa tume, tumeanza ku heal from the violence uh-huh. yeah, so class um, that is class 3 class 4 uh-huh. tuka tukatoka IDP mm-hmm. IDP camp tuka uh, tukaweza kukomboa nyumba hapo Kosovo mm-hmm. ndio nikaendelea na masomo class 6 2011 mm-hmm. uh, mama akagonjeka eh yeah, so mama li pata in incidents penye li alikuwa anatoka job akipitia hapo place inaitwa City Park mm-hmm. kwa hapo tu kitoka hapo um, area za Mothaiga mm-hmm. um, unfortunately hiyo usiku akarepiwa so kurepiwa the process sijui kama hakufikisha hospitali mapema mm-hmm. kwa mipigwa pia ndio mse aliadi alikuwa amemvuta nywele eh, vitu kama hizo but finally eh akapeleka usi tulia but nadhani kuna kitu ili hapa nenye enye ili affect kutoka hiyo wakati mm. so kwenda <laughs> uh, kutoka usi kukuja nyumbani akatulia akapona then after some time tena health yake kaanza ku deteriorate hiyo mm-hmm. 2010 2010 kwenda kuisha 2011 ikienda kuanza hiyo venye tu imeanza new year mama ka gonjeka sana mm-hmm. ah tukaenda na mama na hospitali kupimwa akapatikana ako HIV positive eh so mimi sikuwa naamini mm-hmm. but after some time 
kabidi nimeamini kwa sababu ya zile vitu zenye zilikuwa napitia mm. pia akashikwa na tuberculosis tuberculosis ikampeleka mbio mm. konda eh it was uh, not a good time eh mm. eh ilikuwa uchungu nasaidia mam na shosho hapo hivyo ilikuwa ngumu apata mam lazima akuwe na na utensils zake mm. kwa kulala alafu nakumbuka nyumba ni ile ile tu bado and you can see you can see everything mm-hmm. kitanda ni ile moja so ilikuwa separation ilikuwa tu pazia mm-hmm. pazia ndio ilikuwa separate kwa mam na kwangu penye mimi na lala na bro yangu mm-hmm. eh, so siku nakaa nikiangalia nini nikiangalia nikiangalia mam pia shushu ilibidi akuje tuishi pamoja mm-hmm. kwa sababu ya venye mam alikuwa mm-hmm. um sasa hii uko class Ah uh, hiyo time ni hiyo time nilikuwa Sunday nimeingia class 6. Mm-hmm. Eh mama ameanza kulemewa, mm-hmm. ameanza kushindwa kuamka. Ah mm-hmm. uh, kapeleka hospitali place inaitwa Blue Blue Hospital mm-hmm. iko hapo tu madhare. Hapo mm-hmm. pan karibu na Isili tu. Mm-hmm. Eh akapeleka huko, katibiwa tuberculosis, yakaribia kukuja kupona. Mm-hmm. Eh akaribia kupona tena. <laughs> karibia kupona tena ugonje ya kuja ikamshika tena mama akakonda nywele zilikuwa we nikata zinikaa zinaisha kwa kichwa mama alikuwa na pain eh, kulia usiku ndio kutapika kila wakati madawa nyingi ziko hapo kwa meza mm-hmm. eh, iko rahisi so, mimi nikutokea nilikuwa tokea na mabeshte zangu mm-hmm. naenda video at least ku kutoa vitu hizo ni kwa akili eh yeah. at some point hapo uh, ndio nilianza sasa mambo na drugs mm-hmm. eh, drugs sasa mimi si kwa tumia drugs me i used to traffic drugs mm-hmm. uh, na nda marafiki zangu wananituma mm-hmm. na kimbilia na leta mm-hmm. eh, mi kitu nilikuwa na benefit nayo mm-hmm. ni kwetu stima tulikuwa tunatumia from kwa beshte yangu fulani hapo mm-hmm. so yeye ndiye alikuwa ametuvutia stima huko hivyo <laughs> madhara watu survive eh people survive there mm-hmm. yeah, so alikuwa ametuvutia stima so hii line kipotea mm-hmm. na tukonektia hii nyingine mm-hmm. so na, na benefit na kuenda ku watch movie mm-hmm. eh kukaa hapo tunapiga gumzo mm-hmm. eh kukula rege ah, rege rege nilikuwa nimeivia mm-hmm. eh so kusikiza tu ku reduce ile stress mm-hmm. uh, in the process pia nikafunzwa mambo na kusaka mm-hmm. kusaka sasa ilikuwa hiyo uh, language hiyo time so kuenda ku, kuchokora chokora mapipa uh, kuchokora that is si kuiba kuchokora mm-hmm. kutafuta mtu zinaweza tupea pesa like uh, venye unaonanga chokora amebeba kagunia mm-hmm. uh, akitafuta tafuta so hapo ndo nilifunzwa mm-hmm. after some time then nikaiacha mm-hmm. uh, kushughulikia hapo mam. Mm-hmm. Um, nikikumbuka eh uh, kakaribia hapo August, August mama kaelemewa. Mm-hmm. Nakumbuka nikimpeleka hospitali. Mam nimempeleka tu choo aende ajisaidie. Nikasikia akiniita John John. Kujo hebu fungua mlango. Ambia mama unataka nifungue mlango. Umemaliza? Mm-hmm. Ambia we fungua. Nikifungua nimepata ameanguka huko ndani kumuokota madaktari kukimbishana nao so ilikuwa stress nyingi sana ilikuwa stress haya hiyo time ingia tumempeleka nyumbani ndio mimi ndio namuosha um uh, aikwa iko experience poor after some time hapo august uh, 29 Eh so mama kalemewa kaanza kupiga nduru anaumwa na tumbo nini nini so akachukuliwa akapelekwa usi penye anapelekana kama kawaida mm-hmm. lakini hiyo time sasa aliona ikiwa different because mama alikujua na ambulance mm-hmm. si aliona ambulance nikashtuka nikajua hapa kimeumana mm-hmm. so mama kapanda ambulance that is akabebwa akaekwa kwa ambulance na shosho kaniambia chunga ndugu yako na kuja. Mm-hmm. Eh, I cried. Nilikuwa naona tu mama kama ana pass. Mm-hmm. But I used to believe ah mama hizi pass. 
mm. mbele ya shosho mm. <laughs> so i have i have never gone to shosho alafu mam ndio mm-hmm. next so i i had faith that one day mama ta mama ta pona mm-hmm. pele ko hospitali akapigwa transfer mpaka eh, Kenyatta National Hospital mm-hmm. kupele ko huko hivyo eh, so ilikuwa long night 30th day imegonga bado shosho hajakuja mimi tuko niko kukazana kutafuta penye nitatoa pesa at least tukule na bro yangu so nikaenda kwa majirani nikaomba majirani wakanipea pesa tukaenda tukanunua chapo kuna mahali fulani hapo hivyo madhare na place kuna kangwa chapo kubwa sana so hizo mm-hmm. chapo ndio kwenda kubai moja ya 20 bob mm-hmm. na mboga na kula na bro na jaribu kuonyesha bro kila kitu iko poa sasa yako anaelewa kwa sababu alikuwa mdogo mm-hmm. toka hapo Um, so 30th saa 5 kwa kwa saa 5 usiku kulikuwa tu kuna ka strange kwangu ni nini and the following day shosho amekuja amerudi na mwanza shosho eh hey, kuko aje mama kwa wapi kwani ameachwa hospitali yeah kaambua yeah. <laughs> mama ameenda nikauza shosho mama ameenda wapi kwani amepelekwa america <laughs> ka shosho wangu akaangalia juu kuangalia juu ikaanza ku mean another thing. Kwa sababu nilikuwa naona wasee wamejazana kwetu. Jazana watu wamejaa hapo hivyo, wengine sijawahi waona. Nikaanza so what do you mean? Shusho mama mama di. Kaniambia mama mama ameenda, mama amekufa. Eh, it was the saddest news I have ever received. Hey, nilipiga nduru. Eh uh, na I remember the words in nilisema nani atanisomesha eh uh, those were my words na nikatoka nje nikakimbia mpaka place inaitwa Mexico mm-hmm. eh uh, watu wenye wanaishi madhari wanajua Mexico eh uh, Mexico huko ndo ilienda kulikuwa na ilikuwa natural habitat but nilienda recently nikapata watu wamejenga mm-hmm. so ulikuwa na mti fulani nikaenda hapo nikalia kalia then nikajituliza tena nikarudi home e, nikarudi nyumbani ka process ya mazishi kaanza e, mpaka mazishi kamalizika kutoka hapo sasa lazima tu survive hakuna wa ku provide mm-hmm. e, kwa hivyo mtu wa ku provide ni nani ni mimi mm-hmm. i am the first born haya mm-hmm. sio ujue bado niko class 6 Wow. Eh, uh, ujue mimi ni bontao. So sijui vitu kazi ngumu. Mimi najua tu naletewa na kula, kuvaa, kulala hivyo. Mm-hmm. Siko ajua mambo mengi. Sio sio yeye azifanya vibarua. Mm-hmm. So uh, yusu, sasa ile kazi ilikuwa nimefunzwa mm-hmm. ya kusaka. Mm-hmm. So nikaenda nikaanza kuzunguka kwa juja na mabeshte. Tafuta machuma, tafuta plastics, pia sometimes tunaiba. Mm-hmm. Eh, nikipata sufuria umeweka vibaya naiba nachukua kipata pia kuna copper wire ilikuwa tunanunu tuna nachukua e, nikipata tunayo kama umetumia kama uzi ya ya kuanika nguo mm-hmm. yeah, pia hiyo nangoa kingoa tunaenda na choma unatengeneza kopa mzuri unaenda unauza mm-hmm. e, kilo moja hiyo time ilikuwa 400 400 ilikuwa pesa nyingi sana sana oh. sana mm-hmm. so hapo ndo niliingia streets yeah nikaanza ku kukazana kutafuta tu pesa. Hiyo pesa kidogo nilikuwa napata, naenda nanunua kaunga, nanunua mboga ile ya 5 bob, tumafuta, tule tu kwa kwa kupima na karatasi hiyo, kalikuwa karatasi kidogo nafanywa hivyo. Oh, ile mafuta ulikuwa nakatiwa hivi. Eh, hey, so hiyo mm-hmm. ulikuwa nakatiwa naenda. So, but marafiki wangu mm-hmm. walikuwa wananifinyilia sana because mimi ndo nilikuwa mdogo. Mm-hmm. Eh, hey, mimi ndo nilikuwa mdogo. So apata tukikuja share mm-hmm kushe ile pesa unapata napewa pesa kidogo yenye yezi nisaidia mm-hmm. so kutoka hapo i ended up kukua bega so i became a bega so kama mnapata nana wale watoto kule kule streets wenye huwa wanakuja ni aje anko unaweza nisaidia na 50 bob ni aje anko ninunulia kachai i was one of them eh so nilikuwa na enda huko nikiomba omba mm-hmm. eh at least tupate yaki so by the end of the day napata pesa mzuri mm-hmm. Na mimi as a faithful as a faithful dad. Mm-hmm. Eh hey, hiyo time nilikuwa dad nyumbani. <laughs> na enda na fanya ka shopping. Naenda nyumbani tunakula ugali. Mm-hmm. Eh hey, hiyo ugali 
mm, sukuma una, una gongwa maji vizuri mm-hmm. na kula una toza uh, ilikuwa hivyo uh, for some time eh, ilikuwa yeah, ilikuwa hivyo sasa hiyo mengi street mm. na ndio huyu wewe uko madhare mm. najua watu wengi watu wengi wa street wenye tunafutananga nao wengi wa wanalala pale kwa street mm. wengine like you have wizi jua watu ametoka wapi like mlikuwa mnapiga street na watu nasikia mimi nimetoka wapi how was the relationship between the people that you were staying with them in the streets eh uh, wengine kuna kaa nao streets wengi sasa unajua umekuja umeanza kuishi huko umepatana nyinyi mabeshte mm-hmm. uh, kuna wengine wametoroka wasisome uh, wengine wame lose wazazi saka mm-hmm. mimi in my case ilikuwa ku lose wazazi mm-hmm. and i had to survive uh, wengi wako wanarudi nyumbani mimi nilikuwa narudi nyumbani mm-hmm. because i had a grandmother that i i love very much and i have a brother mm-hmm. who i have to take care of so unapata rudi nyumbani mm-hmm. eh tuna na provide akitu hapo hivyo so pale wale watoto mm-hmm. wengi hatukua wenye nilikuwa na interact nao ni wale wenye tume tumekuwa mabeshte sana mm-hmm. but pia tukakuja tukakosana kwa sababu ya ile share so nikaanza kuenda kimimi sasa kutafuta pesa kivyangu mm-hmm. na um, until one day uh, kila siku kuzoea mpia wakati mwingine nilikuwa naamua naenda kwa kwa hoteli especially pale Madhare Depot mm-hmm. um uh, Madhare Depot place hiyo place ninakuambia ni place yenye mapolisi uka ni mm-hmm. kama tu barracks eh? mm-hmm. so kuna ka- canteen fulani ya mapolisi mm-hmm. nilikuwa naenda hapo kuchonga viazi mm-hmm. so sometimes naenda hapo kuchonga viazi napewa chakula mm-hmm. Eh napewa chipo hiyo nakuwa ni mimi nimejishughulikia. Mm-hmm. Eh. Um, but sasa nakumbuka sasa ni mimi peke yangu nimekula. Mm-hmm. So inabidi nimerudi kule kuomba. Eh sometimes unaenda unaomba mtu anakuambia nitakupiga hebu ondoka hapa unaenda kwa mwingine unaomba ambie <laughs> kugumu kugumu brother. <laughs> <laughs> eh so yakuwa hivyo but um, ndio nilikutana kuna uh, kuna mwanamke mmoja nilipatana naye alikuwa Muislamu mm-hmm. alikuwa amevaa buibui mm-hmm. apatana naye nikamwambia mama unaweza nisaidia na nini pesa at least niende niwe chakula mm-hmm. nilia washosho mm-hmm. na brother yangu chakula mm-hmm. sababu wazazi walipas mm-hmm. akaniambia kijana mm-hmm. sema kweli siwezi ya kusaidia hata kidogo niko na pesa mm-hmm. lakini siwezi kupea eh kamuza mbona mm-hmm. kaniambia kwa sababu you are a bright student you are a bright kid mm-hmm. wewe kijana unaonekana mtu very bright unaona ukirudi shule mm-hmm. unaweza soma mm-hmm. na utaweza kufaulu na utaweza kusaidia nyanya yako mm-hmm. unaweza saidia ndugu yako before tufike hapa sasa kwa kupata huyu mtu wa kukusomesha mm-hmm. nataka tu nikurudishe tu hapa nyuma kiasi mm-hmm. place yenye ulikuwa unauza drugs mm-hmm. i don't know whether ni kuuza drugs am i mm-hmm. how was it happening ni mtu alikuwa anakutuma unauzia watu unapata like how was the process haya so mimi kazi yangu mimi i was just a middleman mm-hmm. uh, between the buyer and the seller mm-hmm. uh, unapata kuna place ukienda kwa madhari <laughs> Kiendo kwa Madhare kuna hiyo Nairobi River. Kiendo utapata kuna place kwingi kuna tengenezwa hizo hizo pombe. Mm-hmm. E, utapata huwa zinafunguliwa unapata vuu. Mm-hmm. Ya, yeah, ukitaka kuona hizo maybe uangalie some videos za uh, huko kwa YouTube utapata kuna videos zenye zimetengenezwa za how ma them life in Madhare which is not good. Mm-hmm. So unapata mimi kazi yangu ilikuwa kwa sababu nilikuwa na mabeshte na alafu walikuwa wakubwa mimi ndo nilikuwa mdogo mimi ndo nilikuwa mtoto hapo mm-hmm. so utapata nimetumwa enda kwa mtu fulani mm-hmm. uchukue boza mbili hapo hivyo mm-hmm. eh hiyo time ilikuwa inaitwa boza siku hizi nasikia inaitwa zigi kindukulu mm-hmm. eh unapo hizo hizo tu mm-hmm. eh <laughs> naenda na unachukua yaenda uchukue rolls mbili yaenda uchukue rolls tatu mm-hmm. eh utakuja nazo I am, sometimes watumwa tubako vile mm-hmm. unaweka huku mm-hmm. eh na zote nilikuwa na test Uliku... eh i used Ulikuna. to test them so mm-hmm. eh bangi nilitest ikanipeleka vibaya mm-hmm. eh ikani nikaanza kuona vitu zenye haziko <laughs> So akaniambia hii haikufevi hii haikufevi mm. hii hii ile 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 shangwe hii achana nayo hiyo mm. nikaachana nayo. 
Ah, nikajaribu kuvuta sigara, sigara we ikanichoke vibaya. Nikasema ah hii inafanya ni na kichwa. Mhm. Ah, nikapewa <coughs> nikapewa tubako tubako sasa mimi nikashindwa kuweka kwa mdomo so i used to sniff mm-hmm. oh ku sniff hizo ndio hiyo kupiga chafu ya nini kichwa ninaanza kuona dim dim mm-hmm. eh kaambi itaniua <laughs> so enye ili ni fever ni pombe mm-hmm. so ngakunywa pombe pombe ikaingia kwa system nikasikia yes this mm-hmm. is the thing this is what i want mhm na bro wao mabesto akaniambia kijana mm-hmm. tuku pate umekunywa pombe mm-hmm. we will kill you eh yeah, we will kill you eh yeah, na waki walikuwa na maanisha eh yeah, wakisema atakuua atakuua so na pia nilikuwa mdogo so kutoka hapo hivyo uh, okay au oh, pia mira nilikuwa nimejaribu pia mira nikula but nikasikia inaonja vibaya mm-hmm. eh yeah, nikasikia na gwara gwara huku nasikia tu oh, si tamu uh-huh. but nilikuwa naona sawa mejazana pia pia still nilikuwa natumwa hizo drugs zote za nilikuwa eh, zenye nimezitest nilikuwa natumwa naendea na naleta mm-hmm. alafu we spend time together hapo hivyo kukaa tu kwa base yetu ilikuwa tunaita gali side mm-hmm. ilikuwa tumetulia hapo hivyo kula rege hapo hivyo eh, life ilikuwa hivyo ndio <laughs> sasa umepatana na huyu to take us through the story of patana eh and yeah, so patana na huyo madam mm-hmm. akaniambia unaweza enda usome na kila kitu itakuwa fine especially sasa hii sasa time ni education is free mm-hmm. eh yeah, so you can just go back to school mm-hmm. akaambia ah, ma uwezi hata nipiga kitu kidogo mm-hmm. akaniambia kesho utakuja mm-hmm. utakuja nikusaidie kesho kutu utakuja nikusaidie hiyo mm-hmm. hiyo nikusaidie mm-hmm. so nitachoka nita mm, so Eh hapo ndo tuliachana na huyo madam ndiye alichange life yangu. Wow. Eh yeye akukuja aku ni support kusoma but mm. change my mindset. So nikafikiria we na naweza soma na naweza pita. Mm-hmm. Mm. Na <laughs> naweza saidia nyanyangu na ndugu yangu. So jani ya ya ku change ikaanzia hapo. Mm-hmm. Eh so like sasa nika achana na kwenda kusaka mm-hmm. nikaachana na ku beg in the streets mm-hmm. nikaachana na drugs mm-hmm. nikaachana na mabeste mm-hmm. eh nikaenda shosho shosho akaniambia nataka kwenda mm-hmm. kwenda nyumbani kwao sasa embu mm-hmm. kwenye shosho ametoka mm-hmm. so nataka kurudi shagu mm-hmm. eh so mimi nilikuwa nimepanga sitaenda mm-hmm. eh, nilikuwa nimepanga kuna kuna nini fulani hapo hivyo madhare Uh, orphanage inaitwa Good Samaritan. Mm-hmm. E, wengi najua mnaitambua mm-hmm. iko hapo hivyo madhari. Mm-hmm. E, hapo ndo nilikuwa nimepaa kuenda. Mm-hmm. But um, eh kuka <laughs> venye yule madam tuliongea naye ikanisaidia sana. Mm-hmm. Kunisaidia so nikasema there is no need of going there. Mm-hmm kwa sababu hata sijui kwenye shoshoa naishi embu mm-hmm. so after nimemaliza nimefaulu nitaenda kusaidia shoshoa wapi mm-hmm. na maybe tu nimetoroka shoshoa anze kushangaa huyu mtoto nimemlea kutoka akiwa mtoto mdogo mm-hmm. before hata azaliwe then ndio ameniacha so maybe hata shoshoa angechoka na maybe a pass mm-hmm. eh yeah, so toka hapo tuka shoshoa katafutiwa lori na watoto wake kuna shoshoa alikuwa na watoto kadhaa mm-hmm. but uh, wenye walikuwa mwenye alikuwa tunamshughulikia ni mamangu so, eh, so niliweza kuwajua hiyo time ndio nilijua niko na uncles mm-hmm. siko najua niko na aunties mm-hmm. eh, wajua kutoka totoni eh wenye tu nilikuwa najua ni aunties wawili mm-hmm. eh, but pia wakuwa eh, <laughs> wako hapo kutusaidia wao walikuwa washughulika na maisha yao mm-hmm. Na hapo ndio tulihama tukatoka Madhare mm-hmm. tukaenda mpaka Embu mm-hmm. eh, a place called Karurumo mm-hmm. toka Karurumo utafika place inaitwa Kaveti mm-hmm. Kaveti that is the place maisha yangu ya class 7 ikaanzia mm-hmm. hapo mm-hmm. mm. Take us through your education sasa after yeah. reform So kutoka hapo hivyo sasa nimekuwa mtu machua mtu anaelewa nini anataka niko na dreams ambitions mm-hmm. eh nataka kusoma nifike class 8 nimalize so unajua before mama pass mm-hmm. eh alikuwa ananiambia eh hey, John I will nita, nitakufa mm-hmm. mm, nitakufa na wewe na ndugu yako mtabaki mm-hmm. mtakuwa machokora mm-hmm. kaambia mama mama 
one thing always kufa mm. that's what i used to believe the second thing is mm. i cannot become a chokora i can say john nani atakusomesha si mimi huwa nakulipia school fees mimi nashughulikianga all those things mm-hmm. can't be a mom all will be well mm-hmm. ni kweli naweza tunaweza tuseka wow. tukiwa wadogo but what i believe Mm. nitasoma nitaifika class 8 unajua mamangu hajafika class 8 sio hajafika class 8 mm. ajui so kufika class 8 was a great achievement wow. nikamwambia nitafika class 8 akaniambia sio utafanya KCP aje hauna mm. birth certificate hauna anything mm. eh kumbuke siku peleka hospitali kwa hivyo so there is no detail kunihusu so wow. na akienda kutafuta hiyo birth certificate hiyo time atalala ndani mm-hmm. eh yeah, kwa sababu alikuwa wapi all that time pia akwa na ID mm. so ilikuwa alikuwa ni kama me give up alikuwa ajua tu maybe staff sitapita class eight mm. but so i had that uh, in my heart mm-hmm. that um, yeah a vision that au nitafika class eight nitamaliza mm-hmm. taingia secondary nisome form 1 and form 4 it was a big thing <laughs> nitatoka hapo niingie university nikitoka university mm-hmm. niende america ni, eh ni, <laughs> ni oe mzungu Ah. Eh hey, vitu nyingi eh hey. so shosho kujua na vijana wake mm-hmm. uh, na pack vitu zake akaeka kwa lori mm-hmm. kapeleka kwa DM so tulienda pamoja mm-hmm. na nilikuwa nimeencourageiwa nikaambiwa that uh, ukifika huko uh, school fees haitakuwa stress because mm-hmm. It's a public school na public uh, public school kama hiyo ya Madare Primary nilikuwa nalipa 200 uh, 200 shillings per term. Mm-hmm. Hii imesimamia imesimamia exams, imesimamia uh, the tuition fee, uh, imesimamia food. So nikajua itakuwa tu rahisi. Mm-hmm. Ah, wewe kufika Embu tukaenda kijiji yenye shosho alikuwa anakaa ni Kaveti. Mm-hmm na pia hapo kulikuwa na shule na Jita Kaveti Primary School. Mhm. Ah, uh, shosho akaniuliza ungetaka kwenda shule gani? Mm-hmm. Nikamwambia shosho una, kuna shule gani ziko around? Mhm. Uh, akaniambia kuna kuna Karurumo Primary. Mm-hmm. Na pia akaniambia kuna hiyo Kaveti Primary na some other uh, some other schools. Mhm. Zile zilikuwa around. Um, akaniambia pia Kaveti Primary is not a good school. Mm-hmm. Uh, mostly it does not perform well. Mm-hmm. And uh, can I encourage that if it's good never end um uh, Karurumo Primary. Mm-hmm. So Karurumo Primary ilikuwa mbali na mm-hmm. nyumbani. Kwa hivyo I opted to go to Kaveti nikamwambia sio it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Um penye uko it doesn't matter where you are it doesn't matter what you have the only thing matters is that what do you do with what you have exactly. so i really I, i really believed that there is greatness inside me and uh, i will be able to achieve my goal it doesn't matter about the school mimi kwa jua as long as it is a public school mm-hmm. it is it's it is just like any other school exactly Yeah so masomo yangu ikaenda ika ikaanza tena that is class 7 nika join class 7 hii ilikuwa 2012 mm-hmm. uh, shosho alikuwa ame save pesa mm-hmm. uh, kuna pesa zingine alikuwa anamletea yeye alikuwa na save mm-hmm. uh, siku anajua kama ana save mm-hmm. uh, zingine pia unapata wakati mama alikuwa amepaa sasa kuna pesa nyingine alikuwa aletea from matanga mm-hmm. so shosho alikuwa na save Mhm. Ah, uh, hiyo pesa ndiye alitumia kutulipia mimi na ndugu yangu. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, class 7 mm-hmm. na brother yangu hiyo class yenye alikuwa. Mm-hmm. So it was a successful one. Mm-hmm. Na pia tulikaribishwa vizuri na ma uncles. So me I used to know things are good and things are fair okay. in that place. Even though I siku anapenda ushago kwa mm-hmm. sababu ya when kwa naona vitu zinakaa naona watu wanalima. Mm-hmm. Alafu kuna hiyo season kwa nimeenda kuloka kumekaa kwa sababu nilikuwa then tumeenda desert. Mm-hmm. Na mimi as a kijana mwenye amelelewa kule Amadare streets. Mm-hmm. I used to see that uh, Madare life ya Madare ni mpoa sikuwa na ubaya wake because nilikuwa nimekaa hapo nikazoea. Mhm. Ah 2012 wa ikaisha. 
2013 ikaingia so nika join class 8. Mm-hmm. Join class 8 ile pesa ilikuwa inanitumia kuni support. Mm-hmm. Kakatika. Kakatika. Mm-hmm. So sasa nimeanza kufukuzwa. Mm-hmm. Sina fee nikienda nyumbani shoshwa na pesa. Mm-hmm. So the only way ilikuwa tu kukifukuzwa nafika pale kwa gate narudi mwalimu naye ananipiga mm-hmm. naingia class like viboko ndio kama iliweza kunilipia school fees for first and second term what eh, that's how it was and uh, it was not sweet mm-hmm. the other thing is sometimes tulikuwa tunakosa food mm-hmm. napata lunch hakuna hakuna lunch mm-hmm. aya mara maybe kuna sikwenye kuna bahati shosho ametuchemshia mahindi mm-hmm. Naenda nayo pale shuleni mm-hmm. na kula vizuri ulikuwa tunaekea kwa kasuku mm-hmm. tu kwa lunch box nilikuwa nikaa kwa kasuku na mm-hmm. ekaa kwa hiyo kasuku kubwa vizuri mm-hmm. nilikuwa nikifika time ya lunch nikutoa mm-hmm. naanza kukadondoa unapata vile naikula mm-hmm. the other kids uh, wanaanza ku feel attracted mm-hmm. ah niambia karani kani naweza nikatia kidogo naambia you have to give me some food <laughs> Yeah, you have to give me some food. Sasa hapo nikaweza kupata chance ya kuonja chapo, mm-hmm. kula nyama, mm-hmm. eh, hapo tu. So hiyo wakati sina mahindi, mm-hmm. inabidi nimeinama. Mm-hmm. Eh, uh, sometimes pia nilikuwa na toroka mm-hmm. wakati wa lunch naenda nyachuna maembe hiyo ndio uzuri wa ushago at least kuna unaweza pata tu maembe hivi na pata avocado. Mm-hmm. Eh, life ilikuwa hivyo njaa ilikuwa kwa wingi unapata sometimes shoshua kona mahindi mm-hmm. mahindi mahindi so when kwa shoshua anafanya anachukua hiyo mahindi ana anasiaga ingine anabakisha mm-hmm. so tunatengenezewa mixture ya mahindi mm-hmm. na unga inakuwa oh. eh, inakuwa <laughs> ndio at least ishikilie tumbo for some time for for a long period of time ama so tukitaka ku change diet shoshua na chemsha hiyo mahindi mm. alafu wanaeka mandizi hiyo mm-hmm. mandizi haija haija koma mm-hmm. yo kitu si tam but you have to eat cause but yeah. like shibe maro mekiwa hiyo mahindi kama lunch mekiwa kwa lunch box saa mm-hmm. sita ikifika ukienda kuitoa inamoika kama makamasi mm. ya yeah, isharibika lakini sasa we ni nani unachukua chumvi unaivonga alafu unaka unagonga unakula Uh, uzuri siku tunaribikiwa na tumbo. Yeah. Yeah, wakati mwingine hiyo mahindi ikakosekana, yeah. hakuna maharagwe. So the only thing tunakuwa na tunakuwa na kulikuwa na avocado kwa hapo nje. So mm-hmm. unachukua avocado mm-hmm. tuna tunaziweka ziive lakini sasa sometimes tunashindwa kuongoja hivi. Mm-hmm. So unakula ikiwa tu kali ku sustain ile ile nja. Okay. Anko mm-hmm. anko wako si wako around ah, calls wako hapo around sasa mm-hmm. hapo ndio nilijua we kumbe ni kubaya hivi mm-hmm. eh hakuna mko mwenye ajulika sasa hata nakumbuka certain incidents eh, tulikuwa na njaa mm-hmm. na watu hadi walikuwa wanajua kwa hiyo kijiji tuko na njaa mm-hmm. sasa the problem is shosho shosho hizi lima mm-hmm. na akilima mm-hmm. atagonjeka then ile shamba yenye piece piece of land yenye amepoa ni kadogo mm-hmm. ana fertilizer amepanda mind ndio hizi <laughs> zimeanguka mara zime mm. e, mimi nimepewa hiyo kazi ya kwenda kuilimia na fieka zote ni mm. the process that inalima eh hey, so ilikuwa kugumu so sometimes tulikuwa tuna uh, kulikuwa na mapaipai huko mapopo those popo zilikuwa zikigrow huko mm. una kata before ikomae mm. ama ive mm. unaipasua unatoa unachonga because sasa unajua yeye so wezi unachonga mm. unachonga then unamwaga chu unaimwagia chumvi unakula hiyo ingine pia nikaona shoshoa akitupikia mm-hmm. alikuwa atupikia the, the malengees mm-hmm. eh si malenge that is popo popo anapika eh, popo anapika popo mm-hmm. so ina mixwa na hiyo mahindi mm-hmm. sometimes unakula unaenjoy i used to re- I, i remember tulikuwa tunapigania sufuria na bro yangu eh nani ana makisho eh alafu food ilikuwa ya once mm-hmm you only eat once in a day once mm. yes so nikikula saa hii ni mpaka kesho masaa kama hii mm. so ndio chakula isiishe kwa sababu kesho utakula nini so hiyo chakula ndio hii kipika githeri hiyo githeri itakuloko siku mbili ama tatu eh 
that's how life it was na um, uncles wako na tupia sana kumbuka kuna hiyo time uh, uncle yangu uh, moja anafanya kazi ya ukulima alikuwa anapanda nini watermelon sawa watermelon zake zikaibiwa mm. hakuja conclude ni nani ni mm. sisi tumeiba mm. so hakuja kwa ndugu yangu hey, mbona umeiba uliba watermelon yangu mm. hey, mimi ngakuja nikamwambia uncle mm ndugu yangu ajaiba tumekuwa na shambani tumekuwa tukifanya kazi by the way nilikuwa naenda kibarua kwa wenyewe mm. nafanya analima the old day mm. then alipoa na kasuku moja that is 2 kg ya yeah. mahindi mm. yes kuingia nitaenda nilipo 2 kg ya maharagwe mm. eh, even though we used to survive mm. eh so hiyo siku tumeshinda nimeshinda kwa wenyewe tumechoka then my uncle anakuja kusema ameiba nikamwambia anko hata kama wewe tunakula mapaipai mbichi mm. ai hatuwezi guza nini zako hatuwezi leo tumeshinda ni oh by the time nimalizia statement nishapigwa kofi sasa ule amepiga kofi nani ule kijana mwenye alitoka madhari mm. huyo kijana naye ni mkali juu ya ile life yenye melelewa melelewa life ya gangster mm. yeah so I was also in a gangster nini mm. eh huko madare pia nilikuwa kwa gangster group mm-hmm. nilikuwa tunajiita wase wa gali side mm. eh, so we used to eh, zile mambo na drugs nini nini mm. sasa ile asira mm. i i fought with my uncle nili nilimpiga nilimpiga kwa sababu i, I appreciate mm. yetu ni kuona si niwezi sasa in the process your time so kanifukuza kaniambia so I could jump mm. this is not your home mm. you go wewe ni mtoto wa malaya toka hapa na kwenda huko kwa wao malaya wenye those are the words i can quote them wow. and it was painful eh alikuwa anaona huyu kijana ni mtu wa kona sense lakini angalia anaona anakaa sense eh mm. vitu zilikuwa anafanya hapo nyumbani kusaidia mm. At least kuhakikisha kwetu kuko smart kuhakikisha mm-hmm. at least we have something to eat mm-hmm. eh usho kwa nyawezi kazi mimi namsaidia so the home was running mm-hmm. yeah as usual yeah so uncles mara usiku amekuja umelewa mm-hmm. piga nyumba nyumba ni ile ya matope inabomoka shosho anaamka asubuhi anza kanyaga ile matope then inaenda ina ni watoto wake. Yeah, ni watoto wake. Vijana wake. What? Eh, so mm. it was a nightmare being there. It was a nightmare. Haya, sijamalizia bado class 8 eh. Mhm. Niko hiyo yote ina happen ikiwa class 8. Mhm. Ni naendelea kusoma. Mhm. Uh, with, with all those challenges. Mm-hmm. But my dream was to at least niweze kupata 350 niweze kuwa sponsored by mm-hmm. wings to fly. Nilikuwa natamani sana na pia nilikuwa natamani kuenda Chuka Boys. Mm-hmm. Eh, because nilikuwa nasikia Chuka Boys ni shule nzuri. Mm-hmm. That was my dream school. <laughs> so I wanted to go to Chuka Boys. Mm-hmm. Eh, ni akazana tukafika third term. Mm-hmm. Nikafanya mtihani yangu nikapita vizuri. Mm-hmm nikafikisha nilikuwa na 320 so nikajua tu wengine KCSE mm. ni kutafuta hiyo 30 marks mm-hmm. nikonge hiyo 350 ni kujua hapa hivi na wings to fly mm-hmm. eh, but stress ikakuwa nyingi hakuna sija registra KCSE mm-hmm. eh, KCP mm-hmm. sina pesa inafaa kuregistriwa na only 1000 1000 shillings was a lot of money mm-hmm. eh, according to them mm-hmm. so joshua na pesa ilibidi tuanze kuchangisha wachangisha uh, kwenda kule shule walimu wakanichangia mm. eh wakanichangia sotano mm-hmm. so walimu wakajitolea kila mtu alikuwa toa so so wengine mm. juu alikuwa toa umachi kafika sotano wakaniambia go to your uncles and mm. tell them wachange pia wao mm-hmm. so wakakuja wakafosiwa wakampiwa eh lazima mchangie mtoto mm-hmm. afanye mtihani mm-hmm. so wakatoa ile sotano mm-hmm. una imagine sotano ndio inachangiwa eh nikachangiwa So nikaregista my KCP which was a dream come true because nakumbuka my mom before a pass alikuwa amesema John hautaweza mm. hata kufika class 8 hautaweza kupita class 8 that mm-hmm. is that will be your end. Mm. So me I believed that my life will not be the same 
and I will pass and I will excel. I used to tell uh, Katwa Jion to kipika kagiveri hapo na Shosho. Nambia Shosho, ah, nitapita, nita takutoa hapa nitakupeleka huko hivi wao nita kujengea uta amini kwanza hao mko venye wasumbua eh na kumbuka kuna wakati Joshua anasumbuliwa anakuja na pigiwa makelele na watoto wao uliokota hao watoto wa malaya unawaleta hapa sijui mhm unataka wafu nini mtatoka hapa muende na wao huko eh so nikasema those ones i will never forget them I will never forget them and they will know that huyo mtoto wa Malaya huyo huyo ndiye atakuja kuwasaidia one day sure. yeah so nikafanya KCP yangu mhm ah uh, nikagonga 290 marks <laughs> so kwa hiyo shule nikaveti kaveti sasa hiyo nimepita mm. hey i was celebrated i was celebrated i was, posi- I was position 3 Number 1 alikuwa na 320. Hapana, mm-hmm. number 1 alikuwa na 310. Mhm. Number 2 alikuwa na na 300. Mm-hmm. Number 3 alikuwa na 290. Tulikuwa tumeachana na mama Max 10 10. Mm-hmm. So mimi ni celebrity wa lakini sasa nashangaa sasa wings to fly hii ime imeenda mm-hmm. hivi imeenda hiyo. Ama nirudie. Mhm. Ama nitarudi shule. Mhm. Nikaambiwa na mabesti wangu acha kushinda ukirudia. Mm-hmm. Utakuwa ume waste time you just proceed go ahead god will bless you unatamani kwenda university eh mimi nataka kwenda university hata day school inaweza enda university mm, but... and kasi ah kuna ukweli mm. there is a reason why is it is may happen mm-hmm. ah toka hapo nikaanza kujitayarisha so sisi nyumbani uh, those um, watu wa nyumbani kujitayarisha kutoka class 8 kuingia form 1 mm-hmm. as a boy you need to go for circumcision mm-hmm. So na pia ulikuwa unapata utachukuliwa na maybe uncles wako wataorganize na watu mm-hmm. eh wajue venye utapelekwa mm-hmm. sasa kamzisho mm-hmm. but remember my uncles are not there for me so hakuna mtu na support sasa mimi i had to do my things on my own na ukumbuke pia nilikuwa nimefukuzwa but sasa ile kwa kichwa ngumu nikasema sitoki hapa mm-hmm. eh nilikuwa nakaa na shoni nikasema mtu anyatua taniguza atajua juu because <laughs> nilikuwa nisha kuwa mkali mm-hmm. eh even though i remember kuna wakati ya nilikuwa amenitoa mbio na panga mm-hmm. nataka kuniua mm-hmm. 